What's going on everyone? Here in front of me is my NES. I decided to do an overview, but the last video you seen me do in a video on my NES was when I first acquired it. And I got a little bit I added some more games to it ever since I owned my NES. So I decided why not do an overview because I wanted to wait a while to do it anyway, so I could have some videos. I'm still making videos. <laughs> I just gotten a little lazy making them, at, but um, but yeah. So I'm gonna just ramble on a little bit and show you this thing in action. Right here, this is the first model NES, which came out in the mid '80s. I believe this came out in around 85, around 1985, because the Famicom came out in, in Japan, which was the Japanese version of the NES in 1983, which was known as the Family Computer, for the shortening of the word Famicom. But this NES is also very common for having the issue with the 72 pin connector when you're putting in certain games well that's because the the dirty pin the game the pins on the games that are dirty wear the pin connector out because of the way how this one is uh, with the little flip up door and, and you just stick your game in like that I'm also going to show you what games I also got for it. And I got to set up my ghetto tripod just to show it, stop the camera from being shaky and do this with two hands. So Nintendo actually brought it back to basics in the 80s to save the video game market from crashing in the mid 80s because the video game market was going to the point where it was going to end up crashing sooner or later with the Atari and the Magnavox and the Odyssey whatever con titles they had in the 80's I know they that um, Nintendo and, and Sega risen, rose up but Sega had at the time the Sega Master System back then competing against the NES known as the Nintendo Entertainment System but the Nintendo Entertainment System had a good lifespan until 95 even though it was succeeded by the Super Nintendo in 1991 so most likely while the Super Nintendo came out known as the SNES the Nintendo Entertainment System or the NES was still around for a few years and until it got discontinued back in 95 because the Super Nintendo at the time was competing against the Sega Genesis whenever they went to the 16-bit era and when the Sega Genesis came out in 1989 then it was trying to be a bigger competitor to the Super I mean, to the NES at the time but enough of my little rambling on, I'm going to show you some games I got currently for it This is the game I'm going to be demonstrating with one of the NES launch titles. So why not do it with a launch title? And I'm gonna go over some games I currently have. I'm gonna put this politely to the side. Pop it on in. That is Donkey Kong. I mean, um, Duck Hunt and Mar Super Mario Brothers. I don't know why I kept thinking it was Donkey Kong already. I just got Donkey Kong in this week. Let me show you what all the titles I got. Super Mario Brothers 3. Super Mario Brothers 2. Which some people say is a reskinned Doki Doki Panic. Which turns out it's pop it is because they use the same layout. I got Tetris that came with my NES. But some of these games actually came with my NES when I first got it as a bundle. 
This is, um, I believe, Castlevania Double Dragon 2. The Revenge. For the title, a little bit worn off, so, um, every NES collector gotta have one of these. Mike Tyson's Punch Out. That's a must have. The Goonies 2, serious nostalgia from this game. Teenage Mutant Ninja, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Seen a lot of bad things on on the Angry Video Game Nerd. The officially licensed Tengen's version of Pac-Man. This is not the unlicensed copy. The unlicensed copy is in a, has a different cartridge. So, um, another popular NES must-have, The Legend of Zelda. This is the gold cartridge. Parker Bill's Trick Shooting, which is a shooter game. It only works on the CRT television. Doesn't work on these flat screens. You got Paperboy, which is a, another good, fun game. Oh, wait a minute, this is Castlevania 2. I thought I already... I don't know what I'm thinking, that's, um... Castlevania 2 Simon's Request... Simon's Quest. Good old Excite bike, a must-have. Good NES launch title. And... Donkey Kong that I got this week. I'm gonna even get some more games. Let me fix this little tripod a bit. Rig it up with something. There we go. Let me pop in the um NES game that I'm going to be playing, like I said. Try not to sound like a moron. I apologize if I do. And yes, I'm using coaxial. This is going to be a short gameplay while I'm doing this. Yes, I'm taking a shortcut on this level. Okay, that's enough for now. That's gonna be a bit too long. Let me go ahead and cut this off. So yeah, that was my brief ov overview on the NES. If you like more videos, you can always subscribe for more and comment with what you think. Let's put, go ahead and pull this game out and everything back up and yeah hope you guys enjoyed it and thanks for watching